So you tell somebody, I met this lady, I really like this woman and I want to be with her and start a new life. And your friends say, oh, is she married? Has she got kids? Oh, yeah. Oh, she's going to bring her baggages with her into your, in this new relationship. That's what people tell each other. Or he's going to bring his baggages of old marriages and the kids and everything into the new relationship. And how many times you've seen that happen? Just be honest with me. I'm not here. I'm not judging you. I'm not here to tell you, you did this wrong, you did that wrong. It's not my job to tell you these things. You only know what you've done. I'm just referring to you these points. I want you to understand these things so you can free yourself from it. That a big part of your suffering or human suffering, a big portion of it is the fact that as we get older, this garbage bag, which is old memories and old stories and old stuff, and a lot of regrets and blames that they're all being collected in this garbage bag. The garbage bag is getting heavier. Do you know why people as they get older, why their, their, their back starts to bend and they get crooked? It's not really because they're getting old and they're u losing the density of their bones. It's because of the garbage bag they're carrying of their past stuff, stuff. It's just stuff. You see couples fighting with each other and immediately everything goes back into the past. Yeah, you did this and you did that. No, you did this or you did that. But you, da, 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 and you, blah, blah, blah. It all goes into pointing finger at each other and blaming each other of what? Of the past. And it poisons the relationship. And A, that's an unhealthy relationship. B, it's not going to go anywhere. It's destined to be a disaster. And so this is how we live our lives. And my point is to bring awareness to this, to make you understand this. To become aware. A, none of these moments are attached to each other. Every single moment in life is fresh. If they were attached to each other, that means you could go back into the past or you can go to the future. But you can't because the moments are not attached to each other. You know, you ever go watch these buildings downtown or somewhere and they look like they're attached. The buildings are attached to each other, but none of these buildings are attached to each other. There's a little gap in between them. There's a tiny, tiny bit gap in between the two buildings. The same thing with the moments of life. Because it's happening so fast, so quickly, it looks like, you know, this moment, next moment, next moment, next moment. It looks like it's in a continuum and it looks like it's moving and going forward and it's going from one place to another. But that's not it. That's not how it happens. It's only an optical illusion. It appears to be, it is continuous. But it's not. It only looks like it. It sounds like it. It feels like it. But that's not what it is. It's wrong. Your senses are lying to you. Your senses are making a mistake. 
The moments of life are not attached to each other. They never been attached to each other. They would never be attached to each other because that's not how it is. They're independent and there's only one moment in life that ever happens and that's now. There is nothing outside of now. There's never been a moment outside of now and there would never be a moment outside of now. Outside of now does not exist. I'm sorry. You're only dwelling in the past in your mind and that's why you're suffering. You go into your garbage bag that you're carrying it, your past, that it's so important to you or the past of humanity, history, it's so important to you that you're willing sometimes to kill other people to defend your prejudice. You're willing to fight pe with people. You're willing to cut them off of your life because you're so invested into, the, into your story or your history or the history of your country. The past of your country is so important. You're so proud of it. You read books about it. You write books about it. But you don't even know if it's happened or not. You have no idea if the past, the history of your country, is true or not. You don't have a clue at all, except what you've read in your books. You weren't here 50, 100 years ago to see what happened. You don't know if that is true or not. They've told you the story and you accepted it. They've written it in a book and you read it and you're proud of it or you're ashamed of it. But you don't have a clue if it happened because you weren't there and nobody else was al is alive from 500 years ago. So you have no one to talk to and check in with except the books. If you really want to awaken and free yourself, you want to be a free being, you have to wake up into the truth of now. Means you got to examine everything for yourself to see if it's true or not, if it has validity or not, if it's possible or not, if it really happened or not. instead of blindly accepting whatever they feed you. You got to wake up to examine things. Examination. What about your past? Do you remember what you ate last Wednesday for lunch? Do you remember what you did last Wednesday? I promise you 99.99% .99 you don't remember what you did last week on Wednesday. Unless it was a big significant event. You went on a big job interview or you met somebody you really fell in love with or you broke your arm last Wednesday or your son got sick. Then you may remember it. The rest you can't remember what you did last week on Wednesday and what you ate for lunch. It's all gone. You can't remember it. What did you eat for lunch yesterday or two days ago? 99% you don't remember it. It's all gone. So there, your past that you're so hung up on and you really value it and you really think it's a big deal, 